In this video, we'll explore Motu's MX4 instrument. MX4 is a synthesizer instrument which combines several different types of synthesis, frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, wavetable and subtractive synthesis, as well as analog modeling. Now, MX4 itself isn't new. It's been around for a while, sold as an individual software product, which you could use in Digital Performer or other compatible DAW software. What's new is that MX4 is included for free in Digital Performer 9. It just gets installed along with the rest of the software. Now there's enough to learn about MX4 that we could do an entire series just about this instrument. But for this series, let's just spend a few minutes getting acquainted with the instrument as a jumping off point. Now like any instrument in Digital Performer, to add MX4, we'd go to the Project menu and choose Add Track or the new Create Tracks dialog. I'll go to Add Track for right now, Instrument Track, I'll choose the Motu category, and there's MX4 listed along the other Motu instruments that are already included with Digital Performer. Once I've created the instrument track, I'd assign the output of a MIDI track to MX4 input, record enable that MIDI track, and start playing my controller keyboard to hear it play. Now there are a lot of controls to MX4. Before we jump into those, let's take a look at the banks and patches. By clicking the bank selector, we see that there are several banks of patches, and they're organized by category or type of sound for each patch. Each bank name lists the number of patches included. Once I select a bank, I can go over to my patch selector and choose from the list of patches included in that bank. Then I can simply start playing any patch. Now, if I want to quickly scroll through patches in a bank, I can use these plus minus buttons next to the patch selector, and I can even do that while I'm playing some notes. As you can see by this long list of banks and patches, you have hundreds of patches to choose from. There's a good chance you'll find something you like right in that list. Now, in addition to all those factory banks and patches, MX4 gives you a lot of control for patch editing and creation. And if you're familiar with synthesis, you may recognize a lot of the controls. Let's take a quick look at all the controls, starting with the main section, which we see here. Towards the top, we have our oscillator section. We have three wavetable oscillators, and each one can be turned on or off, so you could use one or a combination of all three, and you can blend them together. And each oscillator can have its own waveform shape. By clicking a selector here, you'll see that we have some typical shapes like sine, sawtooth, and rectangle. We have some other waveform shapes, and then we have a long list of both wavetables and digital wavetables to choose from. With three oscillators and all those wavetables to choose from, the possibilities are almost limitless. To the right of our three oscillators, we have the LFO or low frequency oscillator section, and we have six LFOs to work with. For each LFO, we have some typical controls like the LFO rate, fade, delay, phase, and symmetry. Below our oscillator section, we have our filter section where we have two filters and a distortion module. We can choose to use no filters, one or both filters, and in various combinations. The filters have pretty standard controls. We can choose the cutoff frequency, resonance, key follow, and frequency modulation. To the right of filters, we have our envelope section, and we have four envelopes. Like the LFOs, each envelope could modulate something different. For the envelopes, we have pretty typical controls as well. We have envelope delay, attack, decay, sustain, hold time and release. Now in the section to the right of envelopes, we can set up modulation sources. And there are a lot of different ways that you can apply this. A simple example you see here is that LFO number one is configured to be controlled by a mod wheel on your MIDI controller or keyboard. You could do some really crazy and fun stuff with this section, like triggering an envelope with an LFO. Now in this main section, we have some master controls, including whether the patch is mono and legato, or if it's polyphonic. We also have things like main volume, tuning options, velocity options, and portamento time. Now in addition to this main section, we also have some mods. We have pattern gate and arpeggiator, pattern sequencer, invert and transform, quantizer, sample and hold, an envelope follower triggered by an audio input, and a lag processor. Now some of these are advanced, but some of these are pretty simple and easy to play with. For example, just turning on the pattern gate can drastically change what you hear. Now, next to main and mods, we have a file page, which allows us to do different things with patches and banks. We can review and change information about a patch. We can save and delete a patch. We can also move a patch or save a copy of it to a new location. In our bank section, we can create new banks, or we could rename, delete, 
export or import a bank from MX4 on another system. The last page is really fun, and that's this randomize page. What you can do with the randomizer is take any patch you're playing around with and randomly modify parameters, and you can choose those parameters in the list here. If I play this patch, and then I click apply to randomize it, I get something completely different, and that's purely a fun way to create new patches. You could start with something randomized and then modify it to your liking. Now, if you're new to MX4 or just synthesis in general, don't be intimidated. Start by playing around with banks and patches. If you find something you like and you start to modify it and change things around, you're not going to break anything. You can always revert back to the original patch and start over. In our next video, we'll take a look at the new Megasynth Audio plugin. Thanks for watching.